So how in the world do you get your footage off of your GoPro and onto your computer? Today's day number 22 of 30 days of GoPro, and by now you should have some footage that you've captured on your GoPro, and you've got it all on your memory card, but now what do we do with it? So today's lesson, I'm gonna cover how to get that footage from the memory card and onto your computer. Um, I'm using a Mac, and so if you're not using a Mac, this still may be a little bit helpful for you, or if you're using a PC, it should be pretty straightforward. All we're gonna do here is actually take our memory card out of our camera and put it into the memory card adapter or the USB adapter and put it into our computer and just pull that footage, those files, right off and onto our hard drive. So I've put my memory card into my computer and if I bring up a window here, I'm gonna come down to no name and I'm gonna open up this DCIM folder on the memory card and then I have a 100 GoPro folder and here are some still images and some video files um, that were all shot on my GoPro over the last couple of weeks or so. So you can see here we have some still images from my burst tutorial from the other day. And we know these are still images because they're a .jpg file or a JPEG file. Um, so these were bursts, so that's why I have so many of them. If I keep scrolling, I just want to show you. Right down here, we have gopr0002.mp4. That is a video file. That is one of our actual video clips. And then we also have this .thm file, and we also have these .dot lrv files we don't have to worry about those files when we're importing footage onto our hard drive these are files that the gopro capture app actually uses so the lrv file is a low resolution video file and when you play your videos back on your phone that's what you're actually playing and then the thm is the thumbnail file so it's just the the, the image that pops up when you're scrolling through your footage on the gopro app and tomorrow we're going to talk about how to get your uh, footage from your GoPro and actually onto your phone where you can share it from your phone. But today we're going to stick to the hard drive. Um, so we just need those MP4 files. So this is what we're looking at here. These MP4 files. These are your video files. So there's really two ways that we could go about getting this footage off of the card and onto our hard drive. Um, there's the kind of old fashioned, old school way where we select our files just like this. Of course, we're going to ignore the LRV and THM files. Um, and then we can just drag them anywhere we want to our hard drive, into any folder or anything like that. Um, the other way we could do it is to actually open up GoPro's Quick app for desktop. And we're going to talk more about Quick in the next couple of days. Uh, but one of the things that it does is it detects when you have your camera connected to your computer or when you have a media card or, you know, any card that has GoPro files on it. It detects that um, when you open it up. So you could import files this way. Um, I prefer to do it the old fashioned way because I like to know where I'm putting my files. Um, so, so I keep all of my um, videos and photos and stuff um, on my hard drive kind of organized. And what I do is I have it set by uh, the date. So I have 2017. January, February, March. So I need to make one folder for April. I put a four in the front. So it's just one, two, three, four. And as I go throughout the year, then I have, um, I kind of have all my stuff organized. And I used to separate videos from photos and now I just put them all um, in the same month folder. I just want to do it that way. So once you have these um, kind of highlighted, you can pr press command on your Mac to select these different individual files. Or you could just command A to select everything. And then you can just drag them over like that. So depending on the size of your files and how many you have, it may take a few minutes to do this, but I like to do it this old fashioned way instead of going through the quick app for desktop or any other uh, 
photo video importer like the Photos app or iMovie or anything like that. Um, a lot of those apps have an automatic, um, you know, importer kind of thing that pops up when it knows you have a media card um, in your computer. I don't, I just don't like to do it that way because then I don't know where the files are being stored. And if I change um, the program that I use to edit my videos, then where are they from the other program and what happens if I move them? So I keep them all in the same place on my hard drive so that I know where they are. Now, like I said, we are going to be talking more about the quick app for desktop because over here you can import your media, organize your media, and even do a little bit of editing. So we'll get into that in the next couple of days. But for now, now you know how to get your footage from your memory card and onto your computer. So if you haven't grabbed my GoPro settings cheat sheet yet, you can do that now. That's from back in video number one, and I'll see you tomorrow.